tell me pretty mild, pretty comfortable today. A lot of melting going on on my back deck today, but it sounds like a lot of refreezing again tonight and tomorrow, perhaps. I, I think so. Uh, the slick spots that can come about on these roadways, Derek, is actually going to be more in response to uh, snow flurries and some light snow showers that are going to begin to develop here in the overnight, and that will be in response to all this cold air that's going to be arriving and uh, plowing over the waters of Lake Michigan. So, you know, we're not talking about some great lake effect event here. In fact, quite the contrary, but there will be some widespread flurries and these light, uh, light snow showers tomorrow morning underneath an overcast, and that can lay down a new dusting or coating and uh, maybe in a couple locations, a half of an inch to an inch of snow, something like that. Those typically prone areas when you got this northwest wind coming into uh, Allegan County, uh, the Van Buren in county, you know, it could be somebody out there getting a, an inch and a half, uh, you know, maybe two inches, but that would be the rarity. The majority just getting a dusting or coating, but enough to cause perhaps some slippery spots. So we'll look out for that. Even some flurries lingering into the afternoon. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be cold. It's going to be very cold. A high of 40 here on uh, what was it Thursday? We're talking about a high basically right around 20 tomorrow and wind chills that are going to be in the upper single digits. Next system arriving on Sunday, an area of low pressure that will add will add to these numbers, but not a whole lot. That's been the story of our winter. Our actual snowfall in GR 9.4 inches. That's one of the lowest tallies on the board really across West Michigan, though everybody running well below the averages uh, in GR. We should have 43.7 inches if you go go by climatology at this point and last year by January 21st. And I don't think anybody remembers last year as being a big, you know, snow producing year, but we had 32.5 inches. There's the record from 1952 through January 21st, over 90 inches, a far cry. Uh, this go round. Now there is some colder air that is discharging out of Canada and that's coming down, taking up all of Minnesota. Now a good chunk of Wisconsin. This colder air is going to be arriving certainly by daybreak tomorrow morning. We're still lingering though in the mid thirties, Derek. So it's not too bad out there, though. These winds do continue. I saw some reports from the National Weather Service. I just looked at the uh, the chat that we have and they released uh, some localized reports, even one from the airport, the official observation spot. It didn't seem that windy to me. I mean, it was it seemed windy, but it didn't seem like they got to 52 mile per hour winds there for a brief time this uh, this Thursday. So that's something else. So this would be updated from 41 to 52. A lot of uh, upper 30s though and into the 40s with those uh, mile per hour wind gusts uh, this past afternoon. So something else and tomorrow will be breezy as well, but more like 10 to 20 with gusts to about 25 or so putting the wind chills in the upper single digits to around 10 degrees. Here we go with the temperature trend average high on Friday there in the gray box at 30 degrees. We're going to be right around 22 23 for a max temp and it's going to feel a lot colder than that. Even going into the weekend when we do come back a little bit, we're only near 30 degrees and then the upper 20s into next week. As I've been mentioning the last couple days, though, the average high here in GR does does go up to 31 from 30 once we get to Saturday. So that's something else. Climatology says we're starting to round the bend. Doesn't necessarily mean that it has to play out that way because we've been so mild, really can't get uh, a whole lot easier for us. It would be uh, make sense that February would turn out colder and a little bit snowier than January. Here's some of those lake effect uh, light snow showers coming off and uh, affecting our northern communities with snow showers, but mainly well to the north at this point. It's going to be overnight when the real cold air comes in that we can begin to see some slick spots. Right now, anything falling to the north is just melting. But once we get down into the lower 20s by, say, 5, 6 in the morning, and there's these flurries that are going to be around, the model always has a tough time picking up, picking up lake effect, but they're going to be out there. Those flurries and light snow showers when you're headed off to work, even towards midday. If you're going to grab lunch, I don't think much in the way of, you know, big travel issues. But Derek, take it easy. Step it out in the morning. Have your winter coat, your hat, your mittens and drive carefully. Next system comes in on Sunday with an inch or less. The system on Monday that's getting a lot of talk looks to me like it's probably going to stay just to the south, but we'll keep tabs on it. Derek, I'll have more coming up. We are due. Thanks, Anthony.